Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation with a short note on running the uh, custom downloaded files, uh, grib files, in uh, OpenCPN. And in particular, uh, I want to demonstrate the use of the uh, REFC, the uh, Composite Reflectivity Simulated Radar, which is now available globally, worldwide, in the new GFS model as of two days ago. And um, so to do this, I'm actually using, I'm not using the latest version of OpenCPN. I'm using... Um, some uh, some version, a development version from some, maybe months ago, I don't know, a month ago or so. Uh, but it's one that has this REFC functionality working, and so I'm going to use that. The latest version doesn't sh doesn't work this way, but I'm I'm pretty sure that the developers will, uh, in the near future, have this available to the public. But just to show that it works, to follow up on the article, I have this article and a Chrome, Chrome, yeah. This article, how to request GRIB files uh, by parameter and region directly. And this is because this new GFS file, um, the, the REFC parameter is not listed anywhere for people to request. So you have to go kind of, you have to go and get it on your own. And so once you, and this is just a method that you go and get it on your own. And it's explained here in detail. There's also a video illustrating this process. We end up with files that look like this. They don't even end in .grb. You know, so in this book here, or in this article, I said add GRB to it, and that works fine. However, here's a tip. The um, OpenCPN, it knows what kind of files you're loading, so you don't even have to do this. You can work directly with these files like this. You'll just have to know in your mind that what this is. This is the 00, zero forecast run and the 12Z run of this uh, this this GFS model. And then uh, then the, this article shows how to do this. And again, there's a video on that. I don't want to discuss that too much. Oh, it doesn't show here. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that, I'm, this is literally happening as we speak. Uh, as we speak? Yeah, that'd be true. Um, so here's the movie that shows this process. Then there's a little movie here showing how you can run this in XY Grib because that you can do right now uh, while we wait for the um, for the update to OpenCPN. So anyway, that's where the files are located, and that I mean that's how you get the files. And and then the the article also shows. I uh, just a little review. Then we can send this kind of strange message here to to sail docks. You can do this at sea at sea from your boat and this will send back uh, this will then get you back an email everyone that you request here will send you back an email and you have a file like that and this is like the F12 that's the 12th 12th hour forecast at the 12Z run of that particular day and so forth so you can get all of these okay we don't need that anymore or that so here's the program and then once you get them I think I put these in a folder here you're right yeah and again this is some uh, development version but later you'll you'll see it so here's the first thing when you're doing a grid viewer with a OpenCPN you turn on the options go to the plugins go to the grid viewer go turn it on and then put the preferences and then uncheck this one draw barbed windows and un uncheck that one everything else is okay UTC you got that you're okay um, then what we'll do is we run the grip that's this icon here and then you would go and hit the uh, this is a folder now we can't request these directly. See, SailDocs has a GFS model, and you can ask for GFS, but you cannot ask SailDocs directly for a GFS with this REFC parameter. You can't do it. For the time being, you have to, the only way I know is the way we're doing it. And so this is canaries. I don't see anything. What's going on? Oh, it's because these aren't recognized as GRIB files. So, so, so here's the three GRIB files. For, well, this is 0, 6, and 12. You could have every three hours. The thing that we show in the video, you can actually get the GFS every hour. 
No, most programs don't let you don't let you do that. But when you're doing it this direct way outlined in that article, uh, you can actually get the real GFS every hour. Okay, so here's what we want. Now, here's another beautiful feature of of the OpenCPN. I can highlight all three of these, and then say, "Oh, you see see them all here." So we're okay. And then open, and so and so they've opened. Let's see what I've got here. Yeah, there's that like that, and so. Then uh, you would have, now I have this turned on here, but you would have to maybe go into here, this wrench, and uh, turn on, uh, this is display the values, we don't need that, but here's where you set these uh, different parameters, and this is the connectivity uh, here. And then, that, well this is just if you're going to use, uh, use um, contours, it's every five. But uh, generic, and this is generic, and that's it. So that's a color code. And then, so here then is the uh, the squalls. Now uh, these things here, what can we do? Can I step through that? Or you see these going? So these are squalls. This and this REFC pr parameter is actually a very powerful way to forecast squalls. It's much better than using just rain. Rain is a terrible, complicated parameter in. Uh, in uh, GRIB, GRIB 2 and GRIB 1 as far as that goes. And so it's a little bit hard to interpret rain. Uh, however, this one, and also the, the parameters that are used for like stability parameters, CAPE and things like that, those are potential for squalls, but this parameter REFC takes all those things into account and is doing all the hard work for us. And then what you need is, so and this, you see here's the values up here, and then let me refer to our own textbook. This is called Modern Marine Weather, Modern Marine Weather, and this is chapter 4.6 of Modern Marine Weather. That book's an e-book or a printed book, and it tells you what the values are here. When you start getting up to these reflectivities, it's a, it's a logarithmic scale. It's a log logarithmic scale, and it's a little bit longer story. These will actually go negative for very light uh, in, the, in the clear, clear air uh, rendition. Um, but uh, we want, we're dealing with squalls, so we want numbers 35, 40, and so forth. The European model and the Europeans, most European agencies have a color scheme they use for this, and, and the Americans, the U.S. has a color scheme they use for that. In other words, almost all the U.S. radar reporting stations use the same model, and then the Europeans one. The two are different, actually. They're rather different. Uh, there, there's not an international standard that I know of. I think the IMO uh, is, is a European one, as far as that goes. But the European one seems a little more logical than the U.S. one for this type of application. However, it doesn't matter, as long as you know what the, the numbers mean something. The colors are random. The numbers actually mean something. So 40, 45, 50, that's where you're getting into squalls. And you see here, this, this, this is all development tool. And this development color bar has a blue here. But if we look at what, the con, what, the, um, what this is, you see that's 40. See, those are serious squalls in here. Uh, 40, 41, 46, things like that. And then you can see a move with time. So that is, um, let's see, did I want to say anything else? Enable. Oh, um, no, I think I'll just let it there. Now again, this is just looking ahead. This is not out there yet, but very in, you know, sometime soon that uh, the we as users of, uh, of OpenCPN will find that they, this, this has been added to the grid viewer. Right now this particular term is not there, but it will be, I think, in the future. And that is that. And the other thing I will add, I've got two other videos kind of related to this series. One will be talking more about this REFC parameter, which we've studied a lot recently even. And then the other one um, will be some other parameters that you can study. For example, the 850 millibar level, looking at the winds at 800, especially in a streamlined format, the winds at 850 millibars and the... Uh, relative humidity there. There are some interesting things to, practical things to learn underway. But I'll stop there so this doesn't get too long.